Heather, you could have picked an awful lot of CEOs to be the Morning Star CEO of the year. You could have picked Zuckerberg. You could have picked the guys at Twitter. Lots of sexy companies out there doing all kinds. But you chose a train guy <laughs> yep. who runs a Canadian railroad. Some people would say, what were you thinking? But right. I'm going to say, why did you pick him? Well, there's a couple things we consider with this award. The most important, though, is, is a CEO who has exhibited an ability to look after the shareholders. And at the end of the day, we're looking for someone who is a great steward of capital for those shareholders. Hunter Harrison has turned around not only CP, his current railroad, but two railroads before that. So he's actually single-handedly transformed the railroad industry by bringing better operational efficiencies, better metrics and measurement, and even just better people to an industry that, as, as we could agree, was kind of a dinosaur beforehand. No, he has been in this business a long time, known as a turnaround guy. He ran Canadian National Railways. Mm -hmm. He was retired. He was uh, d doing horse jumping uh, right. <laughs> and, and stuff like that. And, and Bill Ackman brings him out of retirement to turn this company around. He's been there less than two years. But the stock returns 58% in 2012, most of it after he came on mid-year, and nearly 40% last year. Right. What's he done right? Well, I think there's a couple of different things. First of all is he is a great communicator. As, as you can see from speaking with him, he really gets his vision out there. He speaks very directly with all of his employees, Tough not guy. just his senior management. Tough guy. Absolutely. He doesn't put up with Straight anything. Shooter. Absolutely. And you can see that, too, from the number of staff reductions that he's done as part of his efficiency improvement. But one of the most important things that he's brought to the rail industry overall and CP currently is to increase the velocity of the rail cars, which means that they spend more time on the track per year than they used to, or than some competitor railroads might do. And that actually really improves the efficiency. It's controversial, though. Not everybody thinks it's a good practice, but I think clearly Hunter Harrison has proved his ability to execute And that. by one metric of the railroad business of operating efficiency, he has made amazing improvements. It's uh, costs versus revenue. It's basically a margin uh, sure. thing. And tell me a little bit about how he has done that. So in just his tenure at CP, he has taken operating margins from a little over 20% to 34% in the third quarter. And so we, we still have yet to see the full year numbers, but that is an amazing turnaround for a railroad that literally struggled to see any improvement in margins. Uh, one thing he told me earlier actually was that he really felt like at CP there was not a lot of need. They didn't feel like they needed to do things better. And so part of it really was just putting some incentives and motivation and really getting people energized about that. He spoke about rail safety. That is clearly an issue in this country right now. His view is that it is largely a people issue. Yep. That you can't, you can do all kinds of uh, regulations, but in the last analysis, it's the guy who doesn't set the brake who zones out. Right. Thoughts? I would agree with that, and I think if you ask Hunter, he would say that virtually everything comes down to a people issue. And I think that's partly what makes him such a great leader and CEO. He really looks at the human element of, of every decision that he makes. When it comes to safety and regulation, though, I mean, I think we could all agree the point of regulation is really to prevent the human error, right? If we all did everything perfectly all the time, then, of course, we, we would not have nearly the number of errors mm -hmm. we have. So sometimes, you know, the fact that the guy fell asleep at the wheel or, you know, in terms of setting the right brake setting, no one's doing that on purpose. Regulation can't do away with that kind of human exactly. error. Exactly. Heather Brilliant of uh, Morningstar, thank you very much for being with us and congratulations on uh, the bestowal of this award. <laughs> Thanks for having me. You bet.